Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can sign in or register this thing of NSFAS Coinvest. Ne? So what you have to do, you just have to go to any uh, browser app. It could, it could be Opera Mini, it could be Firefox, it could be Chrome. It will depend to with which one you use. Ne? You can take any app which you like. Again, and then uh, you search for NSFast Coinvest. So it's going to show you this result. If you go to nsfast.coinvest.africa, it's going to take you straight to that part. But if maybe you are here on www.coinvest.africa, then it's going to take you here. And then uh, if you are here, you press NSFast student login or register this one and then it's going to take you here and then here is sign up sign up is for those who are registering for an account for a new account né? and then login is when you have registered and then uh, you do have a password you do have um, a username and stuff so since i'm showing you guys how to register this thing then you press sign up and then it is going to ask you that let's confirm your identity which is your id then they will request you to enter your id number then from here you enter your id number what is your id number then after entering it you press next then after pressing next it say that create your account let's sign you up ne? it needs you to enter your cell phone number what is your cell phone number then you enter your cell phone number please make sure that cell phone number belongs to you it is not um, a cell phone number belonging to your partner soulmate or a relative or any cousin or any one it should be yours after entering your number please click in this box and then they will turn green and then from there you press let's go then it's going to take you here set up your account create your username then you can enter any name as long as no one has used it in this thing then it will allow it but if it does not allow it which means that you need to enter a different user name you can enter your name you can enter your nickname it will allow then you press next then it says that create your password then you need to protect your account by creating a password please create a password which no one could guess it so that your account can be safe then from there you press next then it will take you to this part where it will say we need to authenticate your id and then you need to pass these five steps and get then you press next Then step number two is going to state that take a photo of your South African ID card. Some of you are using a book uh, ID is fine as long as you can take a picture of your ID. Ne? And then you press let's go. Then it's going to show you like this. Then in this rectangle, that's where you will have to upload your picture like a picture of your id ne? just that just that here's mine you know just that i shaded my id just for security measures i need then it has to be like this make sure that it appears very well in this uh rectangle 
and then if maybe you don't like the picture you can press delete and upload uh, another image but if you like it then you can pray you can press upload then it is going to ask you to take selfie of yourself raising a thumb a thumb yeah is a fifth finger like this lady how this lady is standing so you need to raise up uh, your hand you stand that you state that stand in front of a plain light colored wall give a thumb up close to your face check that your face and thumb are in the focused and not blurry so they're gonna show you like when when you open it now when you press let's do it it's going to give you some sort of a frame so you need to make sure that your face fit in that frame and then also your hand uh and thumb is there like it fits in that angle ne? then you press let's do it then i had to shade this one also for security measures then you will take yours if you don't like it or maybe you want to take another picture then you press delete and upload another image then if you like it you press upload selfie then from there it is going to ask you tell us more about yourself your title if you are a guy you've been a star and stuff like that then you select your title and then your first names as on your id here you need to enter all your names not say name all your names the way they appear on your id if on your id you have two names you need to enter them there if you have three names you need to enter those three names there and then you are saying name as on your id then here you press or you enter your same name the same way it appears on your id date of birth so they need to know which year were you born and which month and date then you select it you press this calendar and then you adjust it as if like you're setting um a date on your cell phone yeah? and then select the gender you associate with then you need to select if whether you are a male or a female then select your marital status then they want to know which are you single or widow stuff like that then you will select which you are then you press that then it is going to ask you to enter your student number student number then you enter your student number then on the second block select the type of institution so you will have to choose between college or university which one do you belong if you are in a university you will select university if you are in a college you will select college then select your institution so if let's say that you selected university all universities in south africa public universities in south africa are going to appear here then you select the university which you are from then from there you have created your account your account is ready securely at your card to payment what what then you press done and then you are in yeah. Thank you for watching guys uh, if you have any question please do comment yeah? and then for those who are still struggling with this thing of uh, e-converse and stuff like that if maybe let's say that you forgot your username or you forgot your password please check in the description of this video there is a link which you could use to submit your inquiry and then they will respond to you via email so i will uh, highly advise you guys to use my live email account so that they may respond very fast they don't take too long these days yeah.